Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week one of season four, 2022, in the D-Class Fixed Ferrari Challenge. Once again with me, driving the Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo 2020. This week's circuit is Daytona Road. We haven't been here for a while. It's actually been updated since we were last here. And the date and time is set to the 17th of September 2022 at 2.35 in the afternoon. Now this one's a little bit late. It's after a Monday, so it's not filmed before the week has begun. So we can compare lap times. You We'll have to watch the chase lap though to be able to see the official lap times because for some reason the overlay glitched out a little bit so you can see where we were. We were faster so that's good news. So let's go around Daytona, breakdown lap, full speed uninterrupted lap, then an offboard lap and see if we can help you guys find some time. So here we are on the main oval bit, drifting over to the right hand side, looking for our first braking zone, the end of this last white line. We're in sixth gear, we're going to be hard on the brakes, and we're going to brake in a straight line out towards the outside of the circuit, trail braking in down to second gear, hit that tyre wall as an apex, and then smoothly apply the throttle on exit. Careful of the grass here, I nearly lost it there, and I nearly lost it there. You don't need to cut the grass like I did. The next braking zone is the 100 metre board, but for some reason, it's on the right hand side of the circuit. So you need to keep an eye out for that, assume where it is, hard on the brakes, down to first gear get a mid to late apex on this corner again smooth on the power because the rear end steps out as you get on there but you want to get on there as early as you can to get the best exit possible as it's flat out all the way down through here flat out through this left hander in fourth gear up into fifth on the exit and our next braking zone is about halfway on this exit road on the left you can see a little dark patch there the second dark patch that's our braking zone down through the gears to second gear and then down to first as you approach the middle so that you can get the drive out again another mid to late apex careful of that rear end if you put your foot down too early in first gear you're going to lose the rear the next as this road goes to the right that's our next braking zone hard on the brakes from third down to second get onto that smoothly apply the power as you hit the apex there and try and hold it to the left hand side you can drift up to around the middle and then come back down and you'll gain a little bit of speed as you come down the banking but you don't need to go right out to the wall there if you've gone right out to the wall you carry too much speed into that corner initially and you need to back off a little bit either on the brakes or just wait a little bit longer before you apply that throttle now the final corner of the circuit that we need to worry about to nail this lap time and the braking zone is ever so slightly after that yellow light on the right hand side in between the two and the one board ever so slightly we'll do this in slow motion hard on the brakes down through the gears down to fourth initially quick dab of the throttle dab the brakes again down to third through this next bit and now from this point we should be accelerating all the way that was not a 1x but i think it was pretty fine on track limits so be careful of that you don't want to be touching the grass at all but you can use those yellow curves. This final part of the track, I don't need to explain how to do this. You hug the yellow line, it's flat out all the way. You go up into sixth gear when you're ready. And if you're on a quali lap or if you're really defending, if you're racing someone, and this is arguable, but you can use, most people say that you can use this little bit of apron on the main straights of ovals, but I'll let you debate that in the comments, of course. Now, full speed, uninterrupted, here we go. So over to the right-hand side, looking for the last white line, hard on the brakes, sixth, down through the gears, right to the outside of the circuit, down to second, get it turned in, and apply that power from the late apex after the tire wall. Careful of the grass on the right, careful of the grass on the left, but it's flat out all the way through here. You may have seen I had to lift. 100 meter board on the right hand side, down to first gear, get it turned in, hit that mid to late apex, smooth on the power, careful of the rear end, get it right out to the left, and then slowly drift back over to the right as you're flat out all the way through this section. Up into fourth, get it into this left hander, you can use the curve on the inside, it doesn't affect you. Halfway through these cones on the left hand side, down through the brakes into second, and then when you're ready, down into first, stay in it, holding it tight to the yellow curve on the right hand side, all the way out to the left hand side. Next back over to the right when the slip road on the right is there dab the brakes down to second get it turned in towards the apex and now smoothly apply that power in second gear trying to hold it tight to the left hand side on the exit you can go up to around the middle of the circuit and then as you slowly drift down back through the banking you'll be gaining hundreds depending on how bad you've done it previously maybe even tenths as you come down that banking along this straight of course slipstream will also give you a gain you're going to slowly drift back over to the right. We're looking for the yellow light in between the two and the one board. There's the three. There's the two. There's the yellow light. Hard on the brakes. Sixth. Down to fourth. Dab the throttle. Dab the brakes. Down to third. And accelerate all the way through the next two apexes. And now you can hold it tight to the left-hand side. Again, I went up to the middle slightly before drifting back down to that yellow line just to try and gain a little bit of extra speed coming out of this banking. It only works slightly because you will lose a little bit as you go up the banking. And then you gain a little bit and more on the way back down holding it tight to that yellow line and again on a quali lap cut the yellow line here and then next to the geico zone just to gain that little 
thousandth of a second as you cross the line. And that is a lap of Daytona Road with a 145.4. As you can see on this off-board lap, it was the fastest of the session by four tenths. Uh, this is a live session for the actual event. Um, it's because we were a little bit late this time, but don't worry, next week's guide will be out on Monday, I guarantee it. As usual, that's pretty much it from me, so I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace!